that was one of the most frustrating, sloppy, disgusting duds of a game I've seen from the Packers in a long time. And that includes playing against the Raiders and Broncos earlier this year. Because unlike then, we did not have expectations. But we did this game, coming off of three straight wins against the Chargers, Lions, and Chiefs. The Packers went to New York on Monday Night Football in front of a national TV audience and laid a massive, massive egg. Completely falling over themselves and losing to, frankly, an inferior opponent who wanted it more. And we'll get through all my frustrations because I have things to say about each phase of this game. Special teams sucked, defense sucked, and offense sucked. But before we get into that, we're going to break down the scoring, we're going to break down the stats, and then we'll get into tearing this team asunder with my anger and rage. So if you take a look at the scoring, the Packers got scoring first with a 16-yard touchdown run by Jaden Reed for a 7-0 lead. Giants tied it in the second quarter with a Saquon Barkley 5-yard run. Anders Carlson hit a 36-yard field goal right before the end of the half for a 10-7 lead for Green Bay, which is considered a miracle considering what happened in that half. Giants took the lead in third on a Saquon Barkley 1-yard touchdown run. Anders Carlson hit a 32-yard field goal to make it a 14-13 Giants lead. Hodges had an 8-yard touchdown pass from DeVito for a 21-13 Green Bay deficit. Carlson brought us within 5 with a 40-yard field goal. And then Malik Heath had a 6-yard touchdown pass from Jordan Love for a 22-21 lead. But the 2-point conversion failed off a bonehead reverse to Jaden Reed. Don't know why he did that. So for a 22-21 lead. And then the defense gave up a field goal as time expired for a 24-22 Giants win. Take a look at the box score for the Packers. Jordan Love did not have a great game. 25 for 39, 218 yards, one touchdown, one interception, an average of 5.6, quarterback a QBR of 56, and a passer rating of 76.7. Dylan 15 for 53, Jaden Reed 4 for 38, and a touchdown. Patrick Taylor had a good run, 4 for 30. Uh, Tucker Craft went 4 for 64. Dobbs 4 for 32. Jaden Reed had 8 receptions with 27 yards. A.J. Dylan 2 for 25. Torrey 2 for 22. Taylor, 2 for 22. Wicks, 2 for 20, but left the game with an ankle injury. That's made it severe. Malik Keith, 1 for 6 with a touchdown. Uh, Keyshawn Nixon had two fumbles. Jordan Love had a fumble as well. Lost both of those. Uh, but Ford and Karen Vazman also had covered. Uh, Savage had 7 total tackles. McDuffie had 7 total tackles. Um, Wyatt had a tackle for loss. McDuffie tackle loss. Kenny Clark had 2 tackles for loss. No sacks. No interceptions. Jaden Reed took over punt return because Keyshawn Nixon absolutely botched it. Carlson went 3 for 4, and that one miss really came back to haunt us. And William had a good punt that grazed off of a Giants player that led to a Packers field goal. So let's go get started with absolutely tearing apart this team. First off, offense. Yikes, that first half was ugly. There was no chemistry between Jordan Love and his receivers. He missed quite a bit of throws, like blatant misses that he missed, especially in that first half. Um, that had a designed QB run that resulted in a fumble where he unnecessarily cut back. Um, and then the interception he had was an inexcusable throw. Even though it should have been considered like defensive holding, you still cannot make that throw. You cannot put it into that danger, and Jordan Love did and that's where we got a result. He did play a little bit better in the second half, especially on that last drive where we were able to get a touchdown by Malik Heath. He was a really good drive by Jordan there. Got us in a position to win. Um, who, who else do I want to say? Uh, A.J. Dillon, I mean, not great, but not good either. So there's that. Uh, Chuck Kraft had a good game. Uh, Dontavian Wicks was having a good game before he got hurt. And Heath with the get go-ahead touchdown. Um, I will say, the play calling, Matt, was really, really rough. Quit going with the um, uh, reverses all the time. There's a time and place for that, but not every single drive. you got to keep it special. And especially, do not do that on a two-point conversion. Are you kidding me? There's so many times where we try to be cute, and that resulted in five or seven-yard losses for us. And that is unacceptable. Just keep it simple, stupid. You don't have to be cute every single play, every single drive. Keep that in your back pocket, pull it out when you need to. 
And the offensive line, oh my goodness, that offensive line was being beat today. And not even the usual suspects were only ones getting beat. I, it was – Zach Tom was being beat by Kayvon Thibodeau. Elton Jenkins was having some lapses. And, of course, Runyon and our left tackle scenario was awful. And this offense was just inconsistent the entire game. If there was some, a little bit more consistency, it would have been a lot different of a game. And the Packers were lucky to even be in this. And then let's get to the defense. Uh, defense, defense, defense. They let Tommy DeVito run all over them. He has been sacked 28 times in the past three games before today. Zero sacks in this game. There was no contain on him at all. Very undisciplined pass rush, as every time we even potentially get to him, the A-gap was wide open, and DeVito would take off for a 10-yard gain. It was frustrating as all heck. And then, of course, Joe Barry being Joe Barry, every single third down plays 8, 10 yards back, leading to very easy check downs, because that's all he can do. He can't throw deep. If you've got a quarterback who can't throw deep, you know what to do. You stack the box, muddle things up in the middle, make him beat you over the top. You did not do that. You failed your job as a defensive coordinator, especially on that last drive. That last drive should get Joe Barry fired because it's situational football, Joe. It is as simple as that. What you need to do is not get them in field goal range. And the way you play defense, playing prevent defense, you gave up. You gave up. And that's as simple as that. There's no excuse for it. Joe Barry needs to be fired because this defense does not know situation football. They don't know how to tackle. They are undisciplined in pass rushing. And that led us to losing tonight. I really do think that is the main culprit because we could not stop the Giants. Simple as that. And then the special team. Rich Passaccia, paid special, well, highest paid special teams coach in the league. I will say that the Keyshawn Nixon thing was not Passaccia's fault because Keyshawn Nixon bobbled, muffed the punt, got back on it, and instead of, you know, like a normal player, staying down and just taking an L on that and just keeping the ball, tried to get back up, lost the ball again, the Giants recovered, and that led to the second, third touchdown, the first of the second half. And then, of course, Andrew Carlson missing a field goal that would have put the Packers up 25 at the end of the game. Really, really hurt. Um, but he still hit three other ones that were big. Can't really blame him for that. But it's just like there's so many mental errors on our special teams. We had two special team failings in the game that helped the Giants get great field position. Luckily, did not score many points off of that. And so it is just – we went back to the team we were in October. All that growth over the past five weeks, starting with the Rams game, there was none of that in this game. And I don't know why. I, we probably were looking ahead. We were riding high off that Chiefs game, and we came up against the Giants, and we looked like crap. That's all I got to say, and it's just, it is very, very disappointing. Luckily, because of all the tiebreak of bull crap that's going on, we still have the seventh seed in the playoffs. But, man, that didn't help. We still got the Buccaneers who are currently leading the NFC South. We're at Carolina. We're at Minnesota. That could be a really rough game depending on what's happening. And we're at home against the Bears. We still have a path to the playoff, but man, we got a lot to work with this week. And I, we really need to see that. But hopefully, we can get healthy. Jair should be back. Watson should be back. Jones should be, should be back. So hopefully, our offense looks better. But that's all I got for today. Just a bad, bad, bad loss here by the Packers. And I'll see you guys very soon.